I had quite an interesting email last week from a YouTube creator or a YouTube channel called Supercar Blondie. I had a look on that channel and basically there's a quite an attractive young blonde lady who does videos about supercars and also some of the older cars. And they have asked me if they can use some of my video from one of my early videos, one of the, the jet card video to do like a, a sort of a feature on. Um, I've said yes, I've sent the footage off. I don't see it can do any harm. All I can do is give my channel a little bit more coverage. The Saturday Night Lathe tutorials are going really well. Um, I've had some good feedback from them. Also the casting video that I put on last weekend after the, the nightcap, that went down well as gain. So I've had a look through some of my old video and I managed to pull another one out from the archives. Uh, a real classic double boost. So I'm going to put that one on as well as like a little bonus video. I need to put the tape of thread cutting into practice and put a tape of thread on the end of this valve. Um, the inside is screwed 3 8 BSP so I've screwed a 3 8 BSP nipple in because it isn't going to be much of this brass thread by the time I turn the tape of thread on it. I've also got to modify this end to make it look a bit more I don't know, aesthetically pleasing and then also do something with a handle. But the first thing to do is to chop the end of that off and then machine the threads on. I think I'll take this handle out just in case it uh, gets caught or anything. So I'll take the handle out first. That's how the valve works, it's just a, a straightforward taper on there, the taper's lapped in and that's how it works, there's a little port there, straightforward on off valve, so it's called a gas valve, taper valve or taper tap. This is quite an old one, so it's probably made of uh, bronze, not brass, but obviously if I can get it right in the, in the chuck now instead of having it on there with that tap handle swinging about. Of course, we can't drip on that part, well, we can drip that part, part that off and then move it further out of the, the chuck once we get that end of that removed. Bit better than that. Run as as true as you possibly can. Just want to have a thread cut on it, so that's better. So all that steel union for forced to make sure that's plenty of material so the friends will push in. Right, so about to setting up the thread cutting tool or the thread chaser to the right angle again. Oh you bastard! Right then Johnny! <laughs> right, I've found one more tap. This is really is the last one, but this time I'm going to leave that tape a plug in because that's where the taps have been bending. You can see they're very weak around that area there, and it's turned that whole, whole oval. So if I leave the tape a plug in there, it should be a lot stronger. We will chop the end off 
and put the taper on first and have another go. Right, that one's running nice and true, we'll try and keep it that way. Cut it off with a hacksaw, back the pick to the part until we're digging in and ruining that one as well. angle on a bit more wider than we did before and then we should be good to go Should be the same size as the beginning of the tape up now. Hopefully. Right, I'm happy with that. As happy as I can be. I might need to extend this tool a little bit because the, that centre is bigger and damper than the other one. No, I should get it. Move it back a little bit. We should get it there. So zero this. A little bit of cut. Back into 
important gear again. And we're all ready to start once again. Spring cut and that same setting and try it. I was a bastard because there's not much between it being right and being not right. Right, one of the deeper, I'm certainly heading in the right direction now. get that out straight away because once it gets up to the point of the end of that tool it's going to take a massive cut and the full depth what you would need really is a broader tool a wider tool to get more thread on it we're getting there should be getting there. A little bit deeper, not much. It's kind of getting near to Christmas and I've had one or two orders come in uh, for cutouts for Christmas presents. This one in particular is a German wirehead pointer, but it's a big one. It's like a metre long, uh, half a metre wide. It's about as big as I can get on this table. I'm just going to change the electrode in the nozzle just to make sure We'll get a nice clean cut. The electrodes, are, the consumables last quite well on this. Um, having nice dry air is one of the biggest secrets to consumable life. Come on, John.
I always do a test fire on the arc before I actually commit to, to cutting it out. And one of the most important things that's really easy to miss is a good earth. You do need a good earth. Really pleased with that. A little bit of flash on the back which just chips off. It's going to be left unpainted and left to rust in the guy's garden. I'm sure I'll be happy with that. This is another way ahead point now, but this time it's only 300 mil long. He's going to use it as a key hook and weld a plate along the bottom and put hooks on for keys. This is two mil plate, so it should cut a lot faster. Still cutting on 30 amps. It will cut a lot faster. If anybody wants to cut out for Christmas, all you've got to do is send us an email, we'll be able to sort you out with something. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. As normal, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, it is quite important. Anyway, thanks for watching.